Business analytics, big data, and data science are very hot topics today, and for good reasons. Companies are sitting on a treasure trove of data, but usually lack the skills and people to analyze and exploit the data efficiently. Those companies who develop the skills and hire the right people to analyze and exploit the data will have a clear competitive advantage. It's especially true in one domain, marketing. About 90% of the data collected by companies today are related to customer actions and marketing activities, which web pages customers visit, what products they buy, in what quantities and at what price, which banners customers see or which emails they open, and how effective these actions have been to influence their behavior. The domain of marketing analytics is absolutely huge and may cover fancy topics such as text mining, social network analysis, sentiment analysis, real-time bidding, online campaign optimization, and so on. But at the heart of marketing lie a few basic questions that often remain unanswered. One, who are my customers? Two, which customers should I target and spend most of my marketing budget on? And three, what's the future value of my customers? So I can concentrate on those who will be worth the most to the company in the future. That's exactly what this course will cover. Segmentation is all about understanding your customers. Scoring models are about targeting the right ones. And customer lifetime value is about anticipating their future value. These are the foundations of marketing analytics. And that's what you learn to do in this course. This course is complementary to the course Foundations of Business Analytics, taught by Nicola Gledi. It's not absolutely necessary, but if you haven't done so, taking that course first would make a lot of sense. First, we'll assume that you know how to set up and use the statistical language R in the R Studio software, which is covered in the course Foundations of Business Analytics. If you don't, you might be a bit lost at the beginning, and we wouldn't like to lose you. Second, while Nicolai Gledi used many different examples from different domains in the industry, we will use one dataset, and only one. But we will explore and analyze it extensively and apply all the techniques and methodologies to that same dataset. So you have a clear view of what an in-depth analysis of one single dataset looks like and how it can be performed in real life. Third, a big part of the job of a data scientist is about communicating your results to non-analysts and being able to convince a boardroom based on data evidence. That is an essential skill and will make the difference between an employee who is just a geek and someone who can become an invaluable asset to a company. That's something we'll not cover, but the course taught by Nicolai Gledi will give you useful tips and tricks to that effect. Now, before we dig into the topics of segmentation, targeting, and customer lifetime value, we'll make sure to set up the environment properly and explore the dataset we'll use throughout. Fire up our studio. I'll see you in the next video.